رائع حلو is everyone doing today I left the bot on all night and no errors Oot. I think today we'll do a little bit more bug fixing try and get it back to where it was before I started fixing it last time and see what we can get away with huh If you're uh, joining me on YouTube, thanks for the click. Hopefully you find something interesting. Do the old like and subscribe, you know. If you're here on Twitch right now, glad to have you. Lurk, don't lurk, your call. Anyway, howdy. How we doing? Yeah, I realized uh, I don't have my gaming channel in here. Actually, that's something else I want to do. Let's go. This is one of those things. I want to do a text poll. game for friday i actually picked up i picked up a game that i thought would be fun what was it oh hey karumba it was with a kit Dang it, where did you go? I should have put it up at the top so I'd remember. <laughs> Kit hack, there it is. Looks kind of neat. Um, so we'll add that to the list. Basically it's from the, the makers of Turbo Space Program. And then, of course, Pal World. Uh, what else? What else we want to see? Maybe uh, rando demos. Just go look for demos to play. Until I get bored with them. Let's throw RimWorld on there. I haven't played RimWorld in a while. I could start a new game. And seven days to die. We'll see if anyone even notices this uh, poll, right? Share a behind the scenes photo. Let's see. Wonk? I mean, it's silly, but <laughs> why not? Yeah, let's do it that way. I'll probably have to download the image. Doom, doom, doom. Downloads. Just now. How's that? All right, anyway. 
Meanwhile, back at the ranch. Why am I looking at YouTube anyway? Go away. <laughs> All right, so first things first. Uh, let's look at our let's look over these commands and see what currently works. So if I do help. Wait, so help doesn't work. Did I somehow break commands in general? Let's see. No, zombie process is here. Top. Dice. Okay, no commands are running. Great. All right, let's burn it down. I'm going to start it up again, see if it's something that I did wrong there. Interesting. So I wonder if my subscriptions expired. Hmm. All right, let's do that. Let's add a bug for that. I don't know how to validate that, but we'll get back to it. Um, I've actually seen a bunch of posts lately, people saying, the must-have apps for my home lab, and I'm like, I could do that. I could make a 10-minute video out of that. <laughs> Would require some editing, but, you know, whatever. All right, so issues, we're going to have a new issue. This is going to be commands stop working at some point. This is kind of a TBD. It's, it's definitely a bug, but it's definitely going to need uh, more information. Yes. Oops. I should probably grab the little bit of logs that I have, even if they're not particularly helpful, huh? I need to get rid of that auth. <laughs> I mean, and I don't have anything. Maybe it misses a pong or something. Because, I mean, that just runs forever. Here we are. Here's yesterday. How is this going to look pasted in here? Yeah, that's a whole lot of garbage. Let's see. Not a lot of usable information in there, but that's okay. I accept it, right? Had that moment of terror. Did I remember to turn my mic on? Not that that's ever happened. Ooh. Okay, so actually, uh, can I do this? Yeah, I should validate that. Um, bot stops getting messages from chat. I'm guessing I'm doing something in the subscription incorrect, or 
there's a, a point where the subscription expires. Is my guess. Let's see what we got. Specify to keep alive. Oh, so that's, I need another timer. Can I refresh the keep alive? Oh, I bet I don't have a reconnect. And I don't have anything for revocation. So what I'm probably going to need to do is just leave the bot on overnight again. Uh, but we need to go into run main. So let's fix that first. I mean, the last thing I did was pull. But let's make sure. All right. I'm going to do bug. Socket timeout. And this is just going to be instrumentation because all I'm doing is I'm just going to add into here some more options for the messages. I'm just going to have it actually print out every message no matter what, right? Uh, boom, boom, boom. So we have the case of a message. I just need a case for default. Oh, no. So that's a notification. Did, those, did it say those come as notifications? Okay, no, notification. It's going to be a reconnect or a revocation. So I actually need the case default to be here. Good thing I checked that. Why did that happen? Oh, because... <laughs> Here's what I need. I think I just say, ooh, what do we get? A pine co. I need to round out my Pokemons. think, yeah, it's not case, I just need to put default. Right? Okay. No, let's do it right. From the beginning. There we go. And that'll let us know uh, if it times out, revokes, whatever, right? And we should get all the way down to the bottom. Pale. So session type. Maybe I'd... I want to dump the entire thing. Because I'm kind of curious what that looks like. Oh, great. It's, it's going to be one of those. Okay. 
because I'm using logger. We're just going to have to do it. We'll just go with that. All right, let's see what happens here. Ooh, I got a shiny Pineco. Nice. So ID and timestamp. Okay. So what do I do with those? Let's go back over here. Indicates the connection is healthy. Okay. If your client doesn't receive an event or a keep alive message for longer than keep alive timeout seconds, you should assume the connection is lost and reconnect and resubscribe. Okay. Most client browsers automatically handle it. All right, well, we're going to let that run for a little while because Keep Alive is nice and I should have something that every time the Keep Alive gets received, it resets a timer. Data message type. All right, well, I mean, we know that those are coming, so let's just do that, right? In this case, they're coming through specifically as... Keep alive. So we can kind of ignore those-ish. I mean, I want to do stuff here. But... So none of that matters. Um, and this will just basically give us anything else that comes through. So let's add that. What I'm going to want is there's going to be on disconnect or on reconnect. And also, if keep alive doesn't come through, those are all the cases where it's going to have to resubscribe. All right, so I'm going to continue. I'm just going to keep working off of this. Or do I just push this? I kind of feel like I should just push this into main for now. Rather than, well, whatever we're working on today is going to come off of this either way. And I'm going to want to change that if something changes. But I'm going to be disconnecting and reconnecting so much that none of this is going to matter. Yeah. So I'm just going to branch off of this. Uh, what were we going to work on today? There was another bug I was looking at. What was my other bug? Uh, let's add a, actually, let's just edit this. Most of this is useless. So 
So here's the open. Actually, let's go find that stupid auth and get rid of it. <laughs> That's going to be the next thing. But since we're here, what's... Oh, yeah, top. The top command is busted. Let's fix that. You might be saying to yourself, what well, is the top command? Well, the top command shows the top commands. Duh. Although, hopefully at some point, I'm going to have it also showing the top chatters or something else. But for now, it'll just be the top used commands. <laughs> and right now, it's probably pokey catch unless that's being filtered out. Ah, uh, boom. You, you are what I need. All right, so... Yeah, so... Squirrel, what was I doing? Top, I'm going to fix the top command, but there was something else I was working on first. I just said it. Oh, we're going to find that stupid auth command. Okay, we can do that after this. Um, what's this branch? This branch is bug... Here we want in commands. That's where all this magic happens. Let's put all these away. Not particularly useful right now. I think I need to make a separate, like, this is just text commands, because a lot of these are just text, right? All right, so I'm pulling user. Messages find and count all where command equals true. I think right now command as a table is broken. Yeah, it's not sending command or command args. So let's validate over in our data model for message, command raw and command args. Okay. And I think that this is happening because of how we're saving it. So this is handle our WebSocket send register start websocket wait a minute where are we oh handle websocket message okay I think I'm going to need to write a handle notification. Uh, all right, chat message. There we go. Because this is kind of a lot to have in here, but whatever. We'll, we'll work through it. Oh, wait. But first, we need to find that console log auth. I think it's here. There it is. Goodbye. Oh, do I want to put that into a debug? No, I don't need it. Go away. Okay, so that's handled. 
Uh, removed art. I'm gonna have to go through and, and just search for console log again. <laughs> Probably the, the console errors too, because those should all be logger errors. But anyway, I digress. Do I? There. Fixed. Was it though? No console. This is a different console, so it doesn't matter. You're not needed anymore. Do I have, I don't have logger included here. Boom, 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 boom. I'm probably gonna have to go through and modify some of the settings on it, but that's not where I are today. This is also something because I have a YAML file that's supposed to handle the config. But I need to make it so that if anything, that YAML file is going to be an initial config only, right? Um, because it should stuff everything in whatever database gets selected if it's doing things properly. Water break. All right, I keep looking over and seeing this shiny pine co. I'm curious about what that looks like. Um, what is the easiest way for me to find that? I need to pop out that window is what I need to do. Let's go here. Let's mute me because that's annoying. I have a mysterious crystal. What is that? Let's see. I mean, Twitch has gaming, right? <laughs> Computer. Oh, yeah, he's gold. Ugh. <laughs> he's terrible. Is it even a he? It's a bug. There's your answer. What is this? I feel like I should know what this is. Like, where's my lore at, right? I guess I'll catch that one, too. Why not? No. Okay. Cool. All right. Let's get back to the ranch. We need to fix the top command list. All right, so what's happening here, or what we have here, is truly a failure to communicate, because it's not sending whether or not it's a command into the save function. Where did I hide you? You are a WebSocket here. All right, so this says, if it's the bot user, ignore it. This checks to make sure if a person's opted out. Oh, I didn't catch it. Stupid. Anyway. <laughs> uh, then it gets payloaded, or then it gets bundled. If this, 
All right, so I just need to add here if it is. Oh, wait, I have it right there. Message.raw equals. Oh. Message dot commands raw and command. Oh, uh, wait, I think it's just command. Let's double check what do we got here. Of course, capitalize. Why wouldn't I camel case it? I mean, you are supposed to do that, right? Camel case, all of the things. Okay, so I was doing it. I just didn't realize I was doing it. Ooh, I'm going to have to add... I'm going to have to add the ability to ignore things because right now it's grabbing the Pokemon community game messages. And that shouldn't be the case. I don't care about those. All right. We'll just add another to do, right? That's going to kind of go in here. Maybe I'll just add an ignore so. It'll get added here. Let's do this. What? No. All right. So now we have command raw, command args. Uh, let's do a little test. Well, it didn't like that even a little bit. Oh, well, that makes sense. <laughs> uh, which one of you saw that? It said nothing. You in persist, so right. I need path as well. All right, we're doing the thing, everything's cool. Let's try again. Thank you, zombie process. And let's refresh the data. Pal. Yeah, there we go. All right, so now we have the commands. Cool. Now, I think in commands main, Getting the top, we need to find message in all where command raw. Oh, uh, do I need, I'm going to need a true. No, I need to just find, this is a sequelized thing. I just need not null. So actually where, let's see. Notice, notice. All 
Okay, so I can do where command raw. Wait, wait, wait. So where some attribute. Oh, I just need to do another one. Okay. So this should be able to do. We're looking at. Do I have to add op to the top? Yes. Oh, I'm going to have to add the operators portion. So then in here it is up, not. All right, let's see what that looks like. Bad request, missing required parameter message. Is that because I called it message? Yeah, it's no longer plural. Try again. And crash, okay. Cannot read, find and count all. That's probably because it's getting called twice. No, it just can't find find and count all. So I have sequelized dot models. No, you are messages. What are you talking about? It's the single field is message. Okay. I had it right. Now, what is this talking about? Op dot not. Okay, that's because now that's gone. And I think this fails because it overwrites this, but. Missing required parameter message. Let's just try some good old console dialoguing and spelling correctly. Useful stuff. Okay, so it gets it. Oh, it fails to send. Why do you fail to send? Yes, message command raw and actually, yeah, let's get rid of that. Nope, nope. I think this might be my problem. One more try. Why? Wow. Well, that's a whole lot of data that got sent. OK. 
Okay, let's go back a ways. Nice. Um, okay, so we get message command raw. There is no message command. I think we can just get rid of that. Because it doesn't care. So now it should have something to return. Or not. Let's get rid of this. Let's log data. What do you have to say for yourself? Okay, I'm getting what I need. If data, then the response is no commands found. Otherwise, it returns that. Let's console log that. Why not? Make sure I can just grab the whole thing, huh? All right, so it's definitely returning what we would expect. What does dice work? Message missing required parameter message. Where is that error coming from? Duosion catching it. Type of response is function. We have send chat message. Wait, response. Hang on, hang on. Am I already doing this? No, it just goes straight to fail to send chat message. Which is in here? Where's the error? Here. It is posting options client ID. Message is chat message. Okay, so it's saying here is where the problem is. Let's kick out the chat message.
Ah, okay. No. Why would that be... Pen Why would that come back as a promise? Oh, because it's getting... Oh my gosh. Okay. So, this has to happen here. That's not going to work. If type of response is a function, then I need to say, I need to do something. Is, am I going all the way back here? Because I'm waiting for it here. How do I do it? Uh, and then... <laughs> I need to then that is what needs to happen. So if the type of response is a function... Can I do it here? Can I say... Will that work? It doesn't seem like that should work. That seems like it's cheating. <laughs> uh, we'll see. Oh, well. It is now. Yep. Ooh. I'm fine with cheating then. That can go away. That's going to be a clip. Don't show my girlfriend that clip. <laughs> All right, I need to find the other console logs that I threw in. I also want to change all of these token validations to be debug. So let's take care of that real quick. Let me just twitch off. Validate. Validate, validate. Okay. Token is okay. I want to get rid of some of this extra chattiness. Like I don't need all this at the moment. And these ones don't tell me where it is, but it's in WebSocket. Uh, I can just look for... Oh, because I did a case sensitive. Whatever. I can just go logger.info or just dot info. I 
I think I can leave that. I like that being there. I like knowing that it actually connected. Uh, I can leave the chat notifications for now. I kind of like that. This is going to become debug. Why did that get, wait, what? Oh, right, because of that. We'll do it this way though. Because I do want to have something I can search for that says, oh yeah. We'll take out the scent. You're going to go to debug. All right, so now we've got that guy. Chat notifications we're fine with. And something that says that there was an error. Okay. Dice works. Top command. I'm actually curious. So now. Cool. YouTube shows up. One, two, three. It should only be the top three. So let's throw another one at it. Um. Top dice YouTube. Cool. I do need to make that stop happening. <laughs> like, it needs to not emit if it's a... Uh, I can fix that real quick, actually. Because that is emit chat and message. That just basically needs to say, uh, if message dot Command raw. Then do that. Message is not defined. Oh. I mean, it's right there. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Okay, cool. Now it's not echoing. And that does show up. Sweet. I do need to start adding in the uh, badges and stuff, but that is a problem for future me. That guy's a jerk. All right, so let's look at this. Okay. <laughs> uh, fixed. along with some other crap. Hello. I don't think I have it on here, so let's... You should be gone already. Oh, well. Let's get rid of... Here, 
we're going to do. Oh, I didn't make anything new. This is something I'm kind of curious about. I've got the bug pushed, right? So what does git do? Did git push the last branch? I don't think it did. Nope. But it definitely added all of the stuff because the main thing that I fixed was that. I got rid of it. No, I added the instrumentation. That's what it was. So in here, what I added was The keep alive. Okay, so it kept all that stuff. So that, that branch stuff just stays on mine. Which is fine, because I'm going to delete that branch. Oh, I should have... I should assign these pull request projects. Whoops. I never said I was professional at this. Create the merge, we're going to delete. Hey, we can still do it. Labels, this is a bug fix. Uh, our project is, we'll just say core. Delete, create. Then we can go back over to main. Cool. And pull. Pull. It's really funny watching No Demon just try to keep up with this mess. Arctavish. Pokey Catch. Grab all of the things. Oh, now we can do the ignore. Let's let's create a uh, a branch for that real quick. Uh, requests, no issues. We're still working on that. Uh, this stopped for some reason. And I'm just gonna close it because. I haven't seen it since. Not sure what I did. That's still very important. All right, new issue. This is squirrel. That actually some text to speech have the bot actually or not text to speech to text to have the bot recognize when i say squirrel and do something stupid speaking of squirrel well let's I definitely prefer it to be speech to text. I'm not currently monitoring what I'm saying with the bot, but, hey, you know. 
this is ideation and it goes in the parking lot I think I need to modify the default view of this so it doesn't show anything labeled ideation. <laughs> but anyway, we were making a new one because we wanted to ignore. Ignore or no echo. Like, I actually don't know if the Pokemon community game shows up here in my chat window because I'm never looking at it. <laughs> I mean, don't kill me, but. Uh, I shouldn't put all that in the title. Uh, this technically is a bug, but it's also an enhancement because it's a problem. All right, let's go back over here. Let's look at what we got. So our, our data model for options, basically right now it just has logging true. We'll just add another default um, for is bot false. You know what else I don't have? I don't have anything to say, like, there's nothing in the chat that says I'm the admin. I don't have any uh, configuration. This is kind of where that's going to live, I guess. So let's let's take a look is mod false is admin false I wonder if instead I should just have user levels. That seems like the smartest way to do that. So like zero is just everybody. Why is that a problem? Okay. All right, that's fine. Where am I getting this extra one from? 
we have open two three two three four three two one okay we are not at zero it's saying this one doesn't close Easy peasy. <laughs> All right. So yeah, I think user level is the way to go. Um, that way. We're going to, uh, I'm going to have to check to see if user level is set first. If it's not. put all this away you I don't need you I don't need this is gonna be here again I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to make a, a handle chat notification or handle chat message just as its own because this is getting a little a little bit much um anyway so channel chat message we are getting user options so we've already got it that's good This says if logging is true, then do those things. I think when I send commands, I'm going to have to send, or when I'm checking commands, here, I'm going to have to also have not just user, but user level be sent. and just wrap them all in if statements. Raw command argument is text there. Okay. Equals commands, command. Start send, okay. I'm not actually even looking at, jeez, oh, I didn't even think about it. <laughs> type of response is a function oh okay then it just sent response oh right because it sends all of that and then the argument okay So what do I need to pull out of that? I need to also send
data. No, options. I need to also send options. But there's also going to be in here. Where'd my to do go? Here. Dang it. Okay, so this has to happen after logs now. So I've got to cut this. And it's got to go here. But I'm just going to have to do return. And then I can do or options zero. And what did I call that stupid thing? I called it user level. But it's not zero. In this case, user level one is going to be a bot. Maybe I should do nine as a bot. Like nine is like, just ignore everything this person does. Ooh, Umbreon. Hang on, that's gonna be catch ultra ball. Give it to me. All right. Yeah, let's just say nine. I should probably include that here. Zero is normal. One admin. Wow. <laughs> That's creepy. <laughs> well, well, now we can wait and see if I cut this or if it gets away, and then that'll show us if it shows up in 90 seconds ago. Come on. Oh, but it's not set as a bot, so... That doesn't help me at all. Okay, good. I did find out that, yes, it is, in fact, showing the other bot connecting. So now that I have user options, I'm going to have to have a set. And this will actually be my first command that actually has a an argument. So let's grab, we'll grab top, no, we'll just grab test. Boom, you're gonna be set.
All right, so what do we get out of this? We get, first up is the message and then the user. And I think I was defaulting to what? Oh yeah, that's not gonna help me. What's something that's using user? Do I use it here? Nope. Nope. Oh, I, do, I use it in dice. Let's see, because I think my arg is just test one, two, three. Although, why did that double post? How's about a ban? Bibli, how dare you? Bye. No bots that aren't my bots. Well, you're okay, Pokemon game. All right, where were we? Um, set. Okay, so I've got... I'm going to have to split these args out with set. So if I do... Set, it's going to get me. So uh, I'm going to have to mess with zombie processes. I don't have to type out user level. I probably UL equals nine. Let's see what that looks like on the back end. Okay. So basically I get that and that. I think I'm gonna need a couple of different things to break this up. So the first thing I need to do is uh, if user dot chatter name is admin, set. user level to, well, I don't want to just generally set the user level, right? So I want to set, um, parse args to change user options. So a good thing about this is that in theory, someone who's opted out, I would be able to say, okay, fine, I'll unopt you. Now, the first thing I need to do is get the user level. Which is fine because I have user ID here. 
and I can do um, this should pretty much always be a find. It's not really going to be a create. Make sure we're getting it and it's working. Nope. Find, find is not a function? What? What? Let's create. Oh. Oh, find all. No. Yeah, find all. Or is it find one? Because I only want one. Yeah, find one. I'm kind of concerned if I find multiples, that one. Like I'll only ever work with the first one. It should be fine. That's that's how it always goes with security. It should be fine. <laughs> that's how security works. What am I getting here? I am curious why it's happening twice. We'll set you to eight today. Okay. We'll just say options zero then. Undefined. Okay. So do I just do options dot data values? Oh, because I'm, I'm doing find one. Yes. There we go. So right now I show authorized logging is true. I don't have a user level. Whoops. You know who does have a user level now, though? <laughs> Thanks, Bibby. You weren't useless after all. Oh, that's funny. Did the bot get, why do I have, I have five user levels. So, okay, I've found a weakness in my system here. It's all well and good to have the user ID there, but I 
think I'm going to need the actual username. Let's put you aside. Let's do that. Because that's just not not kosher. And let's go to where I initially set that. That originally happens here the first time there's a chatter. Yeah, okay, so it's got find or create where tag. I need to add a default to a find or create. Oops, I was looking at the wrong place. We want to search here. All right, so find or create. Oh, and then I just add defaults. Okay. And that just comes after the where. We'll just do a comma. I mean, that's kind of nice, but it's not user.login. It's chatter.user name because I don't care about login. Right? I think that's right. It's in here. Chatter.username. Yeah. such column username. Oh, so this could be a problem because I don't have a username column yet, huh? Igly buff. Yes, I'm going to catch all of the things. All right, in the options data in the B name. No such column username. So I'm going to have to, can I add a column in here? I mean, I understand that it's it's kind of an issue. I think I'm going to have to actually delete the entire database. Or not the entire database, but just the options. Luckily, no one's opted out yet, so that's fine. We're going to drop that. We're going to write those changes. And I'm going to say test. Oh, I'm going to have to restart the app. Not really, but kind of. And we are going to where's refresh.
Um, what? There we go. Now options is there. Browse data. Not that one. Okay, it's got username. Shoom. Now we have authorize and now we have username. Sweet. Because that's just, I don't want to have to deal with always doing the, uh, doing the modification dance. Although now that I think about it, I'm doing everything by user ID. I should have a field that already has that separated out, right? <sighs> yeah, let's do it. I mean, it's silly to have the tag, but whatever. User ID, then we hop back over here. All right, let's pop these out just so that I'm not. Boom. Right, and it will fail because the database is still there. Or the table is. Table is now gone. Oh, I forgot to write it. <laughs> and we'll just get rid of a period. That'll restart it. Cool. Back at the ranch. Okay. And a quick discount double check. Browse data. We options. Browse data. We're going to options. It added the two users. And the logging is true. User level is zero. Sweet. Now we hop back over here. That we're in set mode. Options dot data values dot authorize. Not user level. Cool. Oh, that's why it's doubling. Because this one is, it sh It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be trying to evaluate the message. Unless I took out self. So let's make sure options are set. Then, if this, all right, let's just, I'm guessing that that's not actually returning out completely. No, it is. It's trying to run it twice because that's both my user ID. Oh, 
why are you duplicating? All right, well, let's hop over here. We'll just make a new issue. Uh, although, if I do dice, it will only respond once. I don't have any console logs in there. Let's go over to dice real quick, just because I'm curious. Oops, I need the word test. Test gets posted twice. Why does test get posted twice? So it appears to be evaluating these twice, but it's only responding once. I'm okay with only responding once, but I'm guessing I've got it doubled up somewhere. Which, uh, again, as long as it's responding once, that's okay. Ideal? No. Okay? Sure. So let's put that in there. This is a bug, but it's minor. Um, I'm sure it won't be a problem. Things like that are never a problem. All right, so meanwhile, back at the ranch. Uh, I took the console log back out, right? Good, good. Let's do a commit real quick. That's something I need. <laughs> I should have the bot remind me to commit or allow you guys to have the bot remind me to commit. Because that's a whole lot of changes for one commit. That's more than there should be. Um, so we updated the user model or user options model um, in WebSocket we migrated the um, self check slash user level check into then uh, I shouldn't say into then into then into opt out checking that's probably a better way of putting it and Began working on set command. Fine. All right. We've got a commit.
we want uh, user ID dot enter user name. <laughs> Easy enough, right? I should do Will that work? Why not, right? Yeah, counts as a mention. <laughs> At least then I'll look over and be like, what the hell was that? All right. It is interesting that it's, it highlights both of them. So it doesn't care about the at. Oh, that set is pretty high up there now. Top dice. Oh, it's grabbing the args. A Kamala. That's got to get fixed. I don't want it to set the... I don't want that. Let's look at that. Do I have... Oof. All right, so the first thing I need to do. All right, now I'm uh, I'm working on something else right now. Let's just throw it on the pile. New issue. <laughs> Bug. Top command is. I guess it's it's not really top command, it's more raw command is keeping the arguments. Maybe I should say including. Um, boom. Right. I mean, that's half of this. Just why? Why you get away from me? Half of this is just finding the things that screw up and then getting it written down so that I can come back to it. Because I am working on the set command. And you know what? Verb.
And the RB is B. Or something. Whoop. All right. Uh, so we added that. Let's do that real quick. Cool. All right. Uh, hide you. So here I've got the options. And it sends the user level. This is kind of a problem in that it's sending the command, or it's going to be sending the change to the database twice. I don't like that. That's not wonderful. Um, all right, so what did I decide on? Where'd you go? User level is of one is admin. Yeah. So we're going to say if options dot data values dot authorized dot user level equals one we need to say uh, sequelize dot models dot options dot update In this case, it's going to be by name. So I need to say where username Let's do this. I think this is probably the way to go. Dot user name. And what we're updating is actually going to be um, need authorize user level. This is where the args are going to have to be split out. Where did all my stuff go? So this is specifically saying, if I'm an admin, then do the thing. Otherwise, it's going to say, you're not an admin, which is fine. I can do that right now.
And that's fine. So if it's not, I also need to make sure the user's options exist. Right? Like, I, I can't just be randomly creating them. Well, this would be update. Um, but this is going to have to, if it errors, Okay, so I need I need args. Splitting args by space, I think it's just the split command, right? Okay. So options equal this, then options, console on. That gives me my user level. If the user level is one, I'm going to have to do this. Then next, I need to try that. And if there's an error, But try doesn't have anything to do with a promise. Let's bring back the SQL documentation, huh? Nope, that's not what I'm after. You thought having tabs open was a problem. Here we go. Let's just on here, update, no. think to do an error in a then. Is there a dot error? Oh, it's dot catch, right? Quick look. There's try catch, but Okay, but where's then? Oh, here we go. Try catch with promises. Okay, so then, then. Okay, so let me hop back over there. Sequelize models dot update. Uh, then we can do a then oops. Let's do that. It's going to be a little bit different because I need to actually just show the error. 
sorry, I hate the way that looks. It's stupid. Okay. All right, so what's happening here? Oh yeah, there's no user level. Okay, so that's going to just set it to nine, but right now I'm not splitting it out yet. So, <sighs> sock. Give me the Pokemon. Just me and a channel full of bots, but at least they're fun bots. Okay, so now we're running, but we still need to get the args, and we need to split the args. And I'm looking for something that basically, it has to come after the username. Let's get rid of this. Sweet. All right, so set fails. Why is split not working? It should be a method of spring. Well, let's just print args. Although, actually, I, there's no args. I didn't send any args. So if I do set I should do something here to say what I'm which one this is all right so what I need is If args split one, uh, not equal no. Then do the thing. Else. Although that should happen after the you are not an admin. <laughs> like you are not an admin should happen first, right? 
so let's do that. Oops. Let's copy you again. Cut. All right, and then all of this gets the tab treatment. I guess instead of this, it's going to be that. And then I can throw an else in here. Just have to do the same thing up here, where if it can't find this, oh, actually, no, this is where I, I still need to check if this person that I'm setting exists. Makes sense. <laughs> uh, we're going to return. Yeah, let's do that. All right, let's get rid of you. You're not useful at the moment. Uh, did it actually, in fact, make the change? No, no user levels have been changed. All right, so the not an admin didn't come up. The provider number didn't come up. It didn't throw an error when it tried to update. Oh, but my user level is but it should be telling me I'm not an admin. Why are you not telling me I'm not an admin? Zombie. If options data valor equals one. All right, we're going to just throw Oops. Got here. We'll go here. 
got there. Maybe I should also, I should do a not null. Because this else, it should be saying this. Oh, but I'm returning outside here. But it should return before that. Maybe this is the problem. See required parameter message. Okay, so right now it's not returning anything. I should actually, anytime that error comes up, just have it return under construction. <laughs> All right, so let's go. We're not getting past this. So let's do that. Is it because it's inside of a then that it's not returning? Maybe if I do... Oops. Here at the top, I say, So, but why is the else, and it's still returning under construction, so why is this else not getting triggered? I understand why that's not happening. That's where the please provide a number comes in. That's up at the top. That closes it out. What's the deal? I blame you for this, baby 26. Here are that.
you are like that doesn't make sense. I mean, do I need to be specific? It returns pretty quickly. Ooh, bell sprout. Pretty sure I need more uh, Pokeballs. Yep, I have one Pokeball. We're going to buy 10. Got that Umbreon at least. Now I have 11, I have one, and two Premier Balls. Anyway, back at the ranch. Options, data values, authorize, user level. Something else not triggering. I am not figure I cannot figure out why that else is not triggering. Still don't know why it's going twice too, but <laughs> not dealing with that right now. Options equals if this else. Do I go the other way? If it's not equal to one, then throw the error. It doesn't care. <laughs> Oops. I'm feeling like I've got to be getting stuck in the trap of uh, awaits and promises. Refresh. So I set my own user level. Okay, that's fine. This is fine. Where username is... Oh, because I'm using chatter.username. But what I need is our 
Drags dot split. But in this case, it's going to be zero. So I need to reset you to zero. Apply right changes. Now that does have another issue in that it's getting rid of the other settings. Because I'm setting authorize to that. Which means I need a for each in here. On top of everything else. Or I just pull, I'm going to need to pull this in for that user. So instead of update, I need to find it. Well, not instead of. I need to get the current settings. Update that and then push the new settings. So let's do that. We're going to say find. And this is going to be where username is that. Come on. Sometimes this auto fill out stuff is the worst. Sometimes. All right, so let's bring back the docs for find one. Oops, find one, find one. I mean, really, all I need is the authorize, right? Order options takes an array of items, but I don't, I don't really care about that. I just want to find it. It's in here. Okay. 
Mm, the only one. Obtains the first entry it finds that fulfills the query. Okay, so where that is fine. So I just need to stop saying so, but I need to do another one of these. Uh, this is going to be option item equals then we're going to say I still don't know why this else isn't working, but it's a bridge I'll burn when I come to it. Well, that time it just saw nothing. Wait, now it's, oh, I must have something stupid in my. I have user level is zero. Let's refresh you. I wonder if it thinks it's returning a string. And right now, log, oh, logging is, I need to have logging. Uh, right changes. All right. It doesn't help to type in there. <laughs> okay. So now set crashes. Okay. Commit. All right. So first things first. Oops, I need both of those to be true. Why is args well this just keeps getting more and more interesting. I'm guessing set no, it's undefined. If arg is not equal to null. So 
So here, none of my else's are running. Why? I mean, that shouldn't be it. Is there some reason that else would not run? Where'd it go? There we are. Okay, so it's a number. It is sending a number. Oh, I missed a panseer. I completely missed it. Okay. You're enjoying breakpoints. Fine. Probably because of the way I'm running it. My bad. Uh, let's go here. Break point, okay. If options, data values, authorize, user level. Where's the step over? So right here it should fail. And message should be set to this. Then it exits out. Break 
return values undefined. Why is message not set? Message bundles currently set. Message at this point is still not set. Why? Where is it? vocal but why is it not set all right now it's back to running to another one. All right, we're back. And we still don't have message. Ooh, what happened there? Oh, <laughs> yeah, that would be a problem. Okay, so it actually returns there. But then it doesn't. Okay. Oh, wait. Uh, what's 
Let's go here real quick. I want to make sure. I think I need to set a, an environment variable. Because I do want to set it as dev temporarily. So level is that, let's go here. Oh, okay, so I don't have, I need to do this. Then over here, if I'm in dev, I need to set that at the beginning. I think I do. Oh, debug, not dev. I guess I probably could have done it either way. There we go. Now, that's another thing I've got set up now, at least, right? Water break. At some point, I'll have to have prod set up so that it actually messages or sends to a file but we'll burn that bridge again when we come to it all right so we're back here i'm not understanding why still So this is the chatter options, but I need to set the users options. I don't know. It's not going to be there. So it recognizes it's me. Cool. 
Um, my user level is not set, but let's also opinion. Go straight to that. Okay, so it's saying that args is undefined. Cool, cool. Hearing a fan like ramping up and ramping down. We're getting the name like we're supposed to. This time we didn't get under construction. Oop, cut if any. All right, so set, but if I do set with a name, it does not respond. Yeah. Now it does. So to return this message, so the problem definitely is the return because there's, there's nothing going on, right? If I do this, Okay, it's still not returning a message. But it is getting here. So let's start with this. Let's await. Class dot models dot options dot find one where the 
username. Is in this case that so why is a weight a problem? Because I'm in a then, yes, because I'm in a then. I mean, I would kind of rather it not even hit. Oh, I need a uh, target user equals. Okay, didn't think so. Are these getting mixed up? Um, All right, so right now I don't have the args. Then, but in this case, it's not data. I mean, this seems like I should do thusly. Uh, what? Wait, no, that seems right. This problem here. Still the issue of that, yeah. Oh, look at boys. Okay, it's still not sending a message back. So I'm getting the username. Find this. Oh, I should. Here. Just make sure that that gets grabbed, right? It does not. Oh, well, of course it wouldn't. But that should. Okay, it doesn't.
It was worth a shot. Options, find one, where, username. So let's just validate. We have username. Give it the old refresh. Right now, my user level is one. Well, I don't think I'm going to figure this out in the next five minutes. So I'm just going to save where I'm at. Yes, I'm having my bot talk to me because no one else will. Um, Set function still funky. Yes, it is funky. Uh, back at the ranch tomorrow. Why did these didn't get saved? Oh, I'm on main. Why am I on main? What's going on here? I don't like what's happening here. Okay. All right. Yep. That's where we're calling it for today. Uh, like I said, if you're at the beginning of this, if you're on YouTube, thanks. Thanks for watching. Uh, and thanks for watching all the way to the end. I hope there was something useful for you there. And if, uh, if not, or if you have more questions. Um, I'm starting to use the community tab. I am also, uh, I did decide I wanted to make use of the ability to uh, push some of this stuff out to Discord. So that's my Discord channel uh, invite. Feel free to stop by and if it's useful for you, cool. But I'm going to be using it either way, <laughs> hopefully for all of this stuff. Um, and if you're here and working and spent some of your day uh, watching me fumble around with this stuff, thanks a lot. Uh, yeah, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching, really. Yeah. It crashed in a new and interesting way. That's fine. Oh, interesting. No, OBS has... OBS is the thing that froze. Well, what a day to be alive. I guess we're leaving it right there. No closing screen. talk about a win today. That must be the fan I'm hearing spin up and down. It's probably related to OBS. Interesting. Sorry, just looking at my numbers. I can't even, well, I can't even drag the window around. Oh, maybe now. Ooh, one more Pokemon for the road.
Oh, or not. Is the whole machine to be frozen? I wonder if you have something to do with it. Yeah. Interesting. Everything came back to life. All right. So I had something looping that we don't want looping. Something blocking that we don't want blocking. But hopefully I catch this Zoelius or however you say it. And we're out of here. Thanks for watching, really.